Russia will deploy North Korean troops to war zones as of October 27 and 28, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Friday. The Ukrainian leader described the deployment of North Korean troops as an obvious escalatory step by Russia. The world can clearly see what Russia really wants, and that is to continue the war. This is the reason why world leaders need to display a principled and strong response. North Korea's actual involvement in hostilities should not be met with closed eyes and confused comments, but with tangible pressure on both Moscow and Pyongyang to force them comply by the UN Charter and punish them for escalation," Zelensky wrote in his Telegram post. According to Ukrainian and South Korean intelligence reports, thousands of North Korean troops, including special forces units, have been brought to Russia to be deployed to the war in Ukraine. Zelensky's comments came following Ukrainian Commander-in-Chief Syrsky's report on the frontline situation. Commenting on the situation in the frontline, Zelensky said Ukrainian troops were holding their position in eastern Donbass region where fighting is underway. Touching upon Russia's border Kursk region where Ukraine launched a large-scale incursion in early August, Zelensky said Ukrainian troops have completed tasks in certain areas of the region. Zelensky described Kursk as a buffer zone on Russian territory that protects Ukraine from Russian attempts to expand the war in the east of our state and ensure significant Russian losses. Furthermore, Zelensky said special attention was given to Pokrovsky, Kurakovsky and Lymansky directions of the front line. The 12,000-strong North Korean group will not help Russia radically change the situation on the front, Russian Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov is sure. He wrote about this on his blog on Telegram. He claims that the situation at the front has now reached a critical point. Both sides of the conflict are exhausted. If the plan to transfer at least a 50,000-strong group of North Korean troops to the front fails, then the Russian Federation will find itself in a bind because the balance of exhaustion has arrived and even a small weight thrown onto one of the two scales can radically change the situation. Wrote the Z-War correspondent, he emphasized that the Russian army clearly shows signs of decay, soldiers are slipping into crime, which is compounded by an acute personnel shortage. The military is tired of war. And all this is accompanied by a worsening economic situation in Russia. The new mobilization, according to Kalashnikov, is unpopular among the people and could lead to unpredictable consequences. In addition, the Russian Federation system will not be able to handle a new recruitment. There are no officers, equipment or weapons. Given that removing so many people from the economy is a blow to it and an exacerbation of the migrant crisis, wrote the Z-War correspondent. He is confident that the Russian armed forces will soon have no strength left, not only for an offensive, but even to hold the territories already captured. I sense that there may be a tendency for the external war to return into a civil war. We are hearing alarm bells, the Russian propagandist said. Earlier, another Russian Z blogger and volunteer, Vladimir Grubnik, said that due to the lack of reserves in the Russian army, even servicemen of the strategic missile forces are being transferred to the infantry for assaults, that is, the very nuclear weapons that Putin constantly shakes, in which case, there will soon be no one to launch them. Missile men are being sent to storm the plantings of the Donetsk region. Do we really have no reserves at all? Grubnik asked. The Z blogger also does not understand who exactly will launch the missiles if such a question arises before the Russian leadership. It was previously reported that even air defense crews are being transferred to assault units. The 41st Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces, which is conducting an offensive in the area of the village of Staritsa, Kharkiv region, has serious problems. The unit will soon be completely zeroed out due to the bloody tactics of the generals. 
The Russian Z resource Northern Channel, which is connected with the Russian army, spoke frankly about this. According to the resource, commanders are forcing soldiers to go on suicidal assaults in order to capture Saritsa, which they have already declared captured. 41st Regiment, Kharkiv Direction. There is real chaos. People are simply sent to slaughter. Assault groups are sent to be meat. The regiment is being zeroed out. All this so that the generals can report on the alleged capture of Star Ritzer, although this is a lie, the resource wrote. According to him, the regiment is constantly being replenished with new soldiers who do not live long. There are no shells, no tasks, no specific plan, and the fighters are simply told to go. Those who do not return are declared missing in action or deserters, but in fact, He's dead, the Russian Northern Channel reported. He claims that real specialists are also subject to zeroing. They are transferred to stormtroopers, after which they are sent to their death. The commander of the strike battalion of the Achilles of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Yuri Fedorenko, said that the Ukrainian military managed to significantly slow down the enemy's advance in the Kupiansk direction in Kharkiv. He also reported on the key goal of the occupiers of the Russian armed forces in this section of the front, the Ukrainian commander said on the air of the national telephone. According to Fedorenko, the enemy's immediate task near Kupiansk in the Kharkiv region is to take a bridgehead on the left bank of the Oskol with subsequent advancement to the village of Kupiansk, Uzlovaya, where, as is known, an important transport hub is located. In addition to the north of this village, there is also the largest sorting station Kupiansk, Sortirovoshny, as well as residential buildings around it. The enemy is using everything it has, manpower, armored vehicles, drones. At the same time, sometimes it seems that it has all of this in unlimited quantities. Since the Russian armed forces allow themselves to storm in pairs and threes and, for example, run across an open field in groups of 10 to 12 people.